Live one. My name is John Dole, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, in a clear sign of Japan's continued shift to the extreme right wing, uh, a decision by the Board of Education in Matsui, that's in uh, Sumani Prefecture, had decided to limit students' access to the uh, classic anti-war manga series, Hadashi no Gen, which in English means barefoot gen, at school libraries. It's quite, it's created quite a controversy. Now, while some residents in the area really support the move, others say it uh, disrespects not only the best talent anti-war classic, but also denies students access to their own history. Uh, the story itself Talk, tells the tale of a young boy who survived the atomic bombings of Hiroshima. Now, the manga is controversial because it also features, in very gory detail, the war atrocities of Imperial Japan, especially the Japanese army, including drawings of rape and beheadings of Chinese people. Now this war class anti-war classic has always been used to teach students the horrors of war and Japan's own past to give them a much more clear perspective on why we should never engage in war again here in Japan and what war gives us and what will happen if we go back to the old days of fascism and hardcore, overt imperialism. But yet, well, here we have books being banned in Japan. Things that, you know, pe people here in Japan have a right to know their own history. And have a right to know the horrors of war. To avoid repeating it again. But oh no, not good enough for this community. Now, me, myself, the, the way I, I see this, okay, is that it's just another clear sign that we are heading in a much more right-wing direction here in Japan. When you look at the government that we currently have now, and Shinzo Abe's increasingly right-wing agenda and his increasingly push and desire to change the Japanese constitution to where Japan can have an active, aggressive military. Now that's a bit of a problem considering increased tensions in the Asian area between Japan, China, and South Korea. These um, now for a long time stability in Asia heavily, de heavily dependent on a decent relationship between Japan and South Korea. Well, now, that's simply not the case anymore. Well, Japan and South Korea are continuously at each other's throats. And all of this was spurred by the Japanese government's push to the right wing and denial of the comfort woman issue. The complete denial, suddenly, of thousands of women not only South Korean women, but also Australian women and Filipino women. These women were forced into sexual slavery in the service of the Japanese Imperial Army. Now this controversy has been going on for quite some time. If you remember, it was um, Osaka Mayor Hashimoto. the one that came out and said, that never happened. There's zero evidence of it. Sir? plenty of evidence of it. It happened. And to deny people's experiences, truly sick. Now also, Shinzo Abe has said he wants to revise the apology given out in the early to mid-90s by the Japanese government where they admitted that the comfort women happened and these women suffered dearly. He has said he found no evidence for that. This continues, continues to go on in Japan where Japan is being reactionary 
to the changing political, geopolitical uh, situation in Japan, in, in Asia, excuse me. The rising power of China as the Chinese continue to turn to capitalism and continue to um, go in a way of American style um, domination of Asia. This is worrisome to me. Now, there is a chance that this decision could be revised and this classic anti-war manga could end up back in the libraries. Uh, I believe they're going to have a hearing on this, like a public hearing on this issue so they can discuss it more and finally decide if they're going to release, re, uh, le release the restrictions on this classic, highly important piece of literature. Now, Hiroshima Governor Hidehiko Kazuyaki was quick to criticize the move, actually, telling reporters Tuesday that it was unnecessary to regulate Barefoot Gen and the series had been read by many people for a very long time as a reference of the nuclear bombings at Hiroshima. Now, Hiroshima Mayor, the mayor, Kazumi Matsui, has also said that it is important for readers to witness the horrible drawings of atomic bombings and understand the need to prevent it from ever happening again. Yes, also in, the, also in this graphic novel, besides from the beheadings and, and, and graphic descriptions of the atrocities committed by the Imperial Army, it also shows in graphic detail exactly what happens when you drop a nuclear bomb on people. This is a very important issue. Now, the city of Matsumi may not backtrack on its decision, but it is scheduled to hold a meeting, like I said, with the board uh, later this week. Man, this is worrisome. Very worrisome. So that's what's going on here in Japan. I thought I would take time to point that out. There will be a link to an article in the description box below. Uh, please leave some comments in the comment section of this um, video. And spread this around if you want to. Get this issue out. So until next time, this will be Ryan here in Tokyo. Checking out.